You know what's crazy? The last superhero film I watched in which I legitimately cried was Logan. I did not cry during Infinity War. I did not cry during Endgame. I didn't even cry during Wakanda Forever. But here in Guardians 3? Damn. So the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the third installment in the Guardians of the Galaxy, officially making it a trilogy. The film is directed by the great James Gunn, and the film stars Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Karen Gilligan, Palm Clementife, Bradley Cooper, and Vin Diesel. So without spoiling the story, because <laughs> there is a lot to this movie, the simplest non-spoiler version of the plot to this movie is simply that the Guardians embark on a journey to protect Rocket from the High Evolutionary. And that's about as far as I'm going, because like I said, there is way more to this movie than just that. And before I even get into what I loved about this movie, I gotta give James Gunn his props. If this movie does not convince you that James Gunn knows what it takes to run the new DC Universe, I don't know what will. James Gunn puts in so much love, care, and craftsmanship into creating these characters. Because back in 2014, I didn't even know who the Guardians were, and honestly, I didn't care. But after watching that first movie, I fell in love with the characters. When it comes to comic book movies, James Gunn knows exactly what he's doing. This man took a mediocre film and turned it into something fantastic. I know some people weren't too big fans of the Suicide Squad, but me, that movie is absolutely perfect and there is nothing you can say that will convince me otherwise. But let me get back on track. And the first thing that I have to talk about are the performances from the entire Guardians crew. Every single character stood out in their own unique way. But the biggest standouts for me was Star-Lord, Rocket, and Nebula. These three were just the heart and soul and spirit of the Guardians, in my opinion. If you look back at the 2014 Guardians movie, Star-Lord was like this klutz of a comic relief character. But in Guardians 3, you can see how much he has matured. Granted, he still has that Star-Lord charisma and charm, but here he is way more assertive and even way more serious compared to the other Guardians movie. Now, Rocket was always one of my favorite characters in the MCU, and in here, not only do we get a backstory of Rocket, but we get more character development of Rocket. And I love how James Gunn used Rocket's backstory as a foundation to tell the final story of the Guardians movie. At least for now. Also, Nebula was fantastic. Now, I'll be honest. Nebula was a character that I was interested in when she first came into the picture, but I was like no big diehard fan of her. But in here, she is hands down one of the best parts of this entire movie. She's charismatic, her comedic time is on point, and she's just an overall badass. When it's time to get things done, she's there to get it done. But you also see moments of vulnerability from Nebula, because Nebula is a very stoned character. She doesn't really show a lot of emotion, if you will. But in here, this is the most vulnerable and most emotional we have seen Nebula, and I think Karen Gillan's performance was just top notch here. But like I said, every single member of the Guardians managed to stand out in their own unique way, and the chemistry between all of them was just untouchable. But I must say, the visuals in this movie were just incredible. Now, the visuals in these MCU projects lately have been rather lackluster. One could say even piss poor but here there was not a moment of fault every single scene clip moment just looked gorgeous especially especially those imax shot sequences you will know once you see it in theaters also i recommend you go see this in imax so you can get the full-on experience everything just looked gorgeous everything from traveling through space to visiting outworldly planets to even the effects of the newly introduced characters. And yes, there is practical effects usage in this movie, and my god, it is just glorious. Now, the action sequences in this movie are stellar. Whenever there was a fight scene going on, you get these locked on POV shots, the camera flips over whenever a character gets flipped over, and uh, my god, dude, that one take hallway fight sequence was top tier. That scene alone is probably one of the best fight sequences in the entire MCU because, wow. And honestly, I could be wrong, but I think that might have been the first ever one-shot take in the MCU. If this is not the first one-shot take, this is certainly the most memorable. This movie is about love, loss, family, and just learning to move on from certain things. And I think James Gunn did an absolute phenomenal job with juggling all four elements in this movie. I don't want to get too much into detail as far as the story. This is a movie that I think everyone should go in and see and just experience it for themselves. I don't want to tell you everything that happens because... It, 
Dude, this movie is so goddamn good. <laughs> I also really appreciated the dark elements in this movie. There are moments in this movie where there are some pretty disturbing imagery. Honestly, I was shocked Disney allowed James Gunn to even get away with that. So, hey. And the emotional moments in this movie just hit home. Like, it hit hard. One thing that I must compliment James Gunn on, when it comes to conveying characters' emotions, he knows how to use music to illustrate that. I know I'm going off topic, but if you look back at Peacemaker, you see moments where John is like dancing and breaking down, and he used music to kind of convey his emotions and tell that story. But when it comes to using music to tell emotions, James Gunn, he, he is the mastermind at that. And guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but dare I say... I think this might be the best MCU trilogy out of the entire MCU. I did. This trilogy is just incredible. I know some people have their opinions on Guardians 2, but Guardians 3, it, it, it is so spectacular on so many levels that I just can't help but just really admire the time we have spent with these characters and how James Gunn managed to bring everything in full circle. Now, the High Evolutionary, I will say, as much as I love the performance, would I put him in top five MCU villains? Eh, no. And the reason why I say this is because in the beginning of the film, he comes across as like this intimidating brute force to be reckoned with. And in the end, he just turns into this walking tyrant of boiling rage. And he really just screams a lot throughout this entire movie, which is kind of like... Okay, but that's just me. Regardless, I still love the performance from the actor whose name I cannot pronounce, but yeah, he was absolutely phenomenal. So Adam Warlock was teased back in 2017 with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and now he's finally here, and they kind of give him the Thor treatment. However, I feel that given with this being a Guardians movie, with what they did with this character, it kind of worked. And when I say the Thor treatment, you have this overly powered being who kind of acts like a child. Now, technically, he kind of is a child because he did get released from his cocoon early. I know some fans are going to feel rather indifferent with how they handle him, but me, myself, it didn't bother me. But I know that some fans are going to look at that and be like, they really did that. So take that information how you will. Regardless, that's kind of how I looked at Adam Warlock. But Will Poulter's performance was incredible. But in the end, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is absolutely phenomenal. James Gunn managed to bring all of our characters and the entire Guardians world surrounding it into full circle while at the same time opening the door for possible future installments if they were to come. But also this movie just felt like a love letter to not only Guardians fans but to comic book fans in general. So plugging Guardians of the Galaxy 3 into the rank system I am without a doubt putting this one into the pinnacle zone. But yeah, that is pretty much my review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of the movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you satisfied with this ending? Do you want more future installments? Are you excited for James Gunn new DC Universe? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will see you all in the next one. After working up the nerve, almost equal in size, I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. I paid a piece of my mind for every nickel and dime, but never less than a five and never slept on a job. A killer trap with your squad, yet never left the garage. When your God was close enough to see the flesh of his eyes, get to the button and press it's what the message advised. What's the threat behind a message where the testament lies?